video, I have not made a video uh, in a few months, so I figured it was time to make another video, but basically today I'm going to be basically testing out how, as you can see right here, the i5 2400, and see how well it can run Minecraft, uh, as a Minecraft server I should say. I currently have, I currently have it in a Dell Optiplex, so 790. He because I just had that laying around. I do plan on do I do plan on doing some more tests because I got a few more i fives. I got an i five. I got an i five thirty four seventy and and an i five thirty four seventy s I believe. And then I got a fourth gen i five that I can't remember the name of. And then I believe I also got a i five seven sixty. I don't know if that's actually what, what it is, but yeah. And guys, so without, without further ado, let's get it right into video, guys. Basically, I have RTP'd into my server, which basically, if you're actually running a production server, I do not recommend you use Windows, because basically, I got home from school yesterday, because it's currently 1 a.m., and pretty much, and pretty much, like, I pretty much like I pretty much like um apparently it updated and some servers went down. Now, now of course now of course I didn't really do anything in production. I, I did post I did post an SSH I did post the IP on the Twitter. Or what's basically I just use an SSH tunnel in order to in order to actually hide my IP address so you won't get my actual IP address. And then, so like we go over the system, um, as, you, as, you guys, as you guys can see, this is an Intel Core i5-2400, running at 3.10 gigahertz. I currently have 16 gigs reinstalled, per, and basically I, and basically pretty much, see pretty much, I, I'm only going to be using 8 gigs, because if we open up the start that map, as you can see, Java, 8 gigs of RAM. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and start the server by first and start that back. Now we're gonna wait for it to boot up. And this, and this, I have some tests all ready for us. I got two command blocks. I, I better get my stuff watch out. It's just, it's basically my phone, but still. So basically, it's all ready. So, uh, basically, basically, I'm gonna be running this for about. I'm gonna be running. I'm gonna be running each command block for about two minutes. So yeah. Um, now since it's all boot up, let's go over here. Let's refresh, and then as you can see, it's online right now. Go to edit. It's my local IP address, which I signed, which 192.168.0.192. If we're going to join. First thing, first thing, we're gonna, first thing we're going to be doing is basically we're going to be spawning in in weathers for two minutes, see if it crashes or not. So yeah. basically, we, we just gotta press that button and then it should start. All right, three, two, one. Three, two, one, go. Basically, we're gonna be spying with her for a good two minutes. I think we need to reach one now, actually. I think we actually did reach, reach the limit. And so, and so we got some weathers hanging over here, and most of the weathers actually went over here for some reason. I have no clue why. But they did. So far, it's actually handling that pretty well. If I had to, if I had to guess, this thing really goes down because I'm guessing. If I had to guess, if I had to guess, we probably reach the limit that can be reached. I'm guessing. 
quest. See him. So someone was there. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. Oh, I guarantee the server's going to crash here soon. Let me see, let me see, pull up test manager. Okay, um, it's not really that bad, actually. That is good. Um. All right, it's now 507 ticks behind. Oh shit. I can't even, I can't even fly. Well, and there you go, timer is up. We gotta clear all of them, there you go. There we go. Now we are down with the weather. There we go. That's time for the Ender Dragons. So, um. Alright. Alright, so let's go for it. Okay. And we are going to be sliding in 3, 2, 1. God damn it, 
dude. If you guys have, if you guys know a better way of testing this, please let me know. Because I cannot figure out how exactly I can keep the switch on uh, lever, whatever it's called. Alright, 12 FPS, alright, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna keep pushing it, I'm just gonna keep pushing it now, I guess. Surprisingly, it did not crash, so that's actually good. <laughs> that's actually good, man. Alright, so, so basically for basically for the injured dragon, we, we got we got we got over 3.5 thousand. If we go up to where the weather is, we we got um. We, we basically got 839 weathers. So, it's actually not that bad. Especially with the Ender Dragons. I'm like, we got more than 3,000 Ender Dragons and it dash crash. So, that's pretty good. So, um. Basically, 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 if you want a home server, like home Minecraft server, just for like you and your friends, I would recommend the uh, Ice, I don't know, i7, i5, 2400. And basically, 8 gigs of RAM should be fine. I, mean, I would recommend you save some for your system. I saved about 8 gigs for the system, and I gave, and I basically dedicated the server to 8 gigs. So that. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!